ag night by making a blackberry and peach crumble. That's exactly right, Tina. It takes me back to my childhood. When I think about summers on the farm, we go pick wild blackberries. My dad had a peach orchard. And so we're kind of taking the best of both worlds, that blackberry cobbler, that peach crumble, and mixing them all together. And Chris said it, it smells like summer. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds you of summer because all of these delicious fruits that we have that are available at the farmer's market mm -hmm. right now. So people can go out this afternoon to community farmer's market and make this dish. And it's fairly easy. So what we have, Tina, if you want to dunk okay. that in here, we have two cups of peaches that are peeled and sliced. Okay. And then we have two cups, and these are tame blackberries. Okay. And so we have two cups of those very nutritious that you're dumping into this bowl right now. Okay. But we do want to add one third cup of brown sugar just just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit, even though these blackberries taste like candy. Oh yeah. And so we have two, two tablespoons of cornstarch, just to kind of give it some thickness here, and then one teaspoon of that lemon rind there, some grated lemon peel, and we just want to mix this up. Now, you know, a lot of people, they are like, I don't know about those tame blackberries, they right. have a lot of big seeds, but they have come up with some new varieties okay. now, and so give them a try. And okay. we have some over here, the difference between wild and tame blackberries and so you can see those over there so is it the size is the first the visual size and the seeds okay okay and so but now like I say we have some newer varieties and so that seed issue is not as big of an issue as it once was so okay. we take that fruit mixture and we pour it in an 8 by 8 dish and you can kind of see those nice colors there they are looking good and now, of course, at home, if you're following along with this recipe, if you go onto our WBKO Midday page, the recipe is there as well. So if you kind of want to follow along, see how we're doing it, and then, of course, get the recipe as well, it's there. Exactly. And then we want to make the crumble part, yep. which is my favorite part. <laughs> That's Sometimes your favorite. I like to double up on the crumble part. But we have a half a cup of all-purpose flour that okay. we want to put in there, a half a cup of brown sugar, and then we have about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then something a little bit different is we have almonds. Okay. These are blanched chopped almonds. Now, if you don't have blanched chopped almonds, which I didn't at home, I had the whole almonds with the skin on. And blanched just basically means you take the skin off. Okay. And so you can do that. Pour some boiling water over those almonds for about 60 seconds. Then pour it off, get it cool, and let it rest. And then you, those skins just come right off. Okay. So and you so, could do them at home. Yeah. So okay. if you don't have the blanched almonds and they're a little bit more expensive in the okay. store and so if you want to save a little bit of money you can do it yourself and so I'm just taking a pastry blender here and mix in that cold butter which is six tablespoons of cold butter okay. in here to make that nice crumble and then we're just gonna put this on top of our fruit and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 400 degrees for 30 minutes and then okay. you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes because it's gonna be bubbly and oh, hot yeah. <laughs> and so you kind of want to let it rest for a little bit but Tina this is our final product that we have over here and you know serve that up with a scoop of Chinese oh. vanilla ice cream oh yeah and and it's just heaven the berries I was uh, got those from great berries farms and then the peaches from Jackson's Orchard so you can get every bit of these ingredients here locally that'll make a great crumble and this is great this really you know the ingredients were pretty basic pretty simple mm -hmm. Uh, not a lot of time in the oven. Like you said, let it sit for a little bit so you're not burning your tongue. And throw it on, on the dish uh, with some ice cream. This would be great for like a nice hot day, sitting out on the porch. Exactly. And you know, a cup of peaches has about 38 calories, but a lot of vitamins, a lot of fiber. And your blackberries a little bit more. They have about 60, but they're high in fiber. In about a cup, you have two grams of protein. Okay. And so you get a lot of nutrition packed in this dish, and you can feel good about feeding your family a crumble. A crumble because normally you would think dessert, maybe not so healthy. Right. Uh, but this is, if you're going to go away, go fresh, go with the fruits. And like you said, all of this stuff is out there at the farmer's markets, and they're going to be in a lot of the areas right now. That's kind of what Agnite is all about. Um, after the break, we're going to get the details on that, and you're going to tell us when it is and what we're going to be seeing when we're out there. Right, sounds good. We'll be right back. All right, I hope you followed along at home by going over to our WBKO Midday page because we showed you how to make that blackberry peach crumble. And you were giving us breaking breakdown all of the nutritional factors, um, you know, the protein, everything that we, we kind of are getting from this. So if you're going to do a dessert, Joanna, you're saying go with something like this versus uh, 
maybe something that's more packed with sugar. Right, and it's so beneficial because if you get this at the farmer's market, it's going to be fresher and the taste is going to be so much better than what you buy in the grocery store just because of the freshness. So you're supporting a local farmer, you're buying fresh product, and you're getting great nutrition. So it's a win-win-win all the way around. And supporting local farmers is very important. And that's why we have Ag Night, which is coming up August the 2nd. And we're very excited about it. We have a lot of vendors, over 30 vendors that are going to be there. And they're going to have different agricultural activities for the entire family. We're going to have inflatables, hay rides, pony rides, and all kinds of equipment that our local equipment dealers are going to bring out. And the kids, and even some of the adults, <laughs> Tina, like to climb in, in the combines yeah. and the different yeah. pieces of equipment just to kind of feel like a farmer for a day. And so we're very excited about all the activities that are going on. It's 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. out at Cheney's Dairy Barn. And so and immediately following all the activities, we're going to have the movie, the ice cream in the movie, and that's going to be Charlotte's Web. So right, another farm-based movie to celebrate agriculture. So we're very excited. It's a free event, and so it, it doesn't cost anything. You can bring your entire family out and have a great day of prizes. We have a corporate partnership with Domino's Pizza this year, and so they're going to have a lot of Domino's products, face painting, and even maybe some balloon animals. So that's something new for the kids this year. I'm totally looking at these pictures from uh, last year's Ag Night, and it is. Look at all these kids. They are getting to do some stuff that maybe they otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity. That's exactly right. I mean, milking a cow, and then they're getting to try some great products. Our Warren County Cattlemen's will be there serving some of their famous ribeyes and some hot dogs and hamburgers as well. So it's going to be a lot of great food, a lot of great fun for the entire family. So come out and support agriculture. There's going to be farmers with product there to sell as well. And so maybe you can pick up some great blackberries and peaches and go home and make this for your weekend party. And make this one. Exactly. Get some Chinese ice cream over here that we mm -hmm. have. We have it plated up here. And so you can get all that. Your dairy, your fruit for me, I think that's not dessert. That's dairy, right. fruit. Yeah, <laughs> and even some, even some of your wheat group right there in that flower. And the, so, yeah, and the crumble. Well, and I really do think with children, if they kind of see where it comes from, if they're in there and they're milking the cow, maybe they're going to be more um, apt to maybe drink milk or, you know, ask for that to drink uh, versus maybe a soda because they're really proud that they went and they milked the cow. And it's a good way to kind of introduce them into eating healthier and being healthier. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Because when they see that, they make that farm to food connection. Mm -hmm. And so, the, like when my kids, if I'm kind of skeptical whether they'll eat the recipe or not, I have them help. Yeah. And usually they're like, well, I made this. Yeah. I had a part in this. I want to eat that. So it's the same thing with agriculture. So we invite everybody to come out on August the 2nd. Now, if everyone wants to get more information on Ag Night, where can they get it? They can call the Warren County Extension mm -hmm. Office at 842-1681. And we have our information on our Warren County Agriculture Facebook page. And so they can get all the information there. And if they want a list of what all the activities are, they can just give us a call. And we'd be happy to share that information with them. And now I'm telling you, the Extension Office, they can help you do any you want from the kitchen to farming to planning whatever it is you guys have them covered so even uh, beyond Ag Night if they ever want to get a hold of you guys you are a great resource thank you Tina and this is a Kentucky plated up Kentucky proud recipe mm -hmm. we have those recipe cards available at the office as well along with many other great fresh product recipes that is so great thank you John I'm so glad we made this uh, I'm sure Chris is gonna be thanking Somebody's you Somebody's gonna want that <laughs> oh yeah Chris is gonna be waiting for a bite of this we'll be right back <laughs> 